Hello and welcome to Juiced on the Banter Gaming Channel. Once again we're in the car lot to buy a brand new R34. Something that of course you can't do in this day and age. $54,000 well spent. Now hopefully this will get to be our first class free car. I've went prototype part hunting and uh, We'll see if we can push her far enough to to probably compete in that class. It's going to be very expensive, of course, but totally worth it in the end. Gearing, that's going to have to go all the way to top speed. Some brakes in there. Now a prototyped car, but we're still not done. Uh, nitrous. Uh, DCU. <laughs> 694. I feel this should, this should be fairly, fairly competitive within this class. I hope. Okay. We will not keep this colour, we'll find a better colour for it. But first. I don't know. The real side one will most likely offer the best downforce, despite the fact it's. Yeah, I, I couldn't even say what, <laughs> what that would do to the aerodynamics of it, so I'll just go for the Bomex one again. Hood, wherever this is, I'll have it. Wheels, I feel some BBSs are in order. The GTs. Of the real third, real third, real side, side skirt. Largest wing we can. And the real side, rear bumper. Fantastic, we'll put that prototype decal on it. Then windows. New gauge. Sound system and move over the horn again. Okay, so what sort of colour would suit this? Maybe we should just make it orange. Try and make it orange. It's a bit of a guessing game with this. It's kind of gold, but... And the wheels can be... black. There we go. Fantastic. That was quick, easy. Let's see if we can compete in class 3. I've just realised I haven't went and done any races that would open up any class 3 races, so... Um... Yeah. Bugger. <laughs> I did not think that through. Uh, class 4 sprint would be a good... good quick thing, even though it's longest of the spin races. Chief has now got all his uh all the respect in the world. Uh we'll see who comes to us. Hopefully not the three thousand GT driver. No one. Oh, we got lucky. Recall in one of Roger's NFSU2 episodes, <laughs> he called the uh, 3000 GT a bit of a badass car. And in standard trim, he's, he's certainly not wrong. I mean, with four wheel steering and every luxury under the sun, it's not exactly what you could call light, but it's certainly something that when a, a tuner takes it and knows what they're after, they can turn it into a fairly capable track car usually through heavy use of carbon fibre, perspex windows and light and everything, race spec radiators, fuel tanks and batteries, but the end result is 
but certainly not a Mardi car. On par with a Super, really. Well, we bought a start, didn't we? Could have done hitting that wall. <laughs> oh well. No one better of us. What's that? Right, now let's see if there's any class three races to to do. Class three, please. I'm gonna have to make my own class three race at this rate. Yes, we shall we shall make one. Uh, we'll do a circuit. That would be more less track. Class 3. Seems fine. The reward will be 7 grand. I'm sure our Skyline will more than be able to hold up against whatever they throw against us. Muscle cars! <laughs> Loads of muscle cars. Who should we take all their money from? Mmm, Sue. You a good left? Mmm, fat. Let's stop calling on fat wheels. Stop asking if it shifts. It's a manual eye shift. It does not. The, uh, the avatars in this certainly piss me off. This is going to be a, <laughs> a little bit of a cake. Of course, that's as long as I keep this car. It's not over yet. Which you see him sort of Come on, what's keeping you? gingerly teasing it around the corner. It's not over yet. As it's not exactly stable. Here we go. You are not gonna win. Ah! She has magnets! Use of magnets is forbidden. Oh no, nitrous is leaking. It's a disaster. Oh, that corner went well. I can only imagine how hard it is going to be to drive the Viper and the uh, Corvettes. And very soon we're going to have to find <laughs> Find out what that's like, we don't have a choice. And we could technically complete our goal in the game without touching them, but Lucky you. I really do feel it's a necessity. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Cool. Hey, what's the off. Part? I've been struggling so hard to get back before and I just lost a ton of it then. Oh well. Oh, who's hey, gone? Like Pink slip. That should be an easy way to get a free muscle car. <laughs> do we really need another Mustang? No, we do not. We've got one, and I've used it once. And it's awful. Something interesting. Come on. Really? Oh, there we go. This should be interesting. Benson drives an orange scatline for 15 minutes. Is going to be the name of this episode. Uh, a couple of vets there. Um, I'm interested to see how they fare against the vets. Just to see if this ever loads. 
I'm definitely going to blow my way off the line. Oh, well, that's not always the case against the vet. Anyone familiar with that uh, infamous video of the eagle tail on drag racing the Lincoln Felter Corvette? aware that just because you have all-wheel drive does not mean you're going to blow them out the hole. Oh, these curbs are not doing us any justice. Eight laps of this hell. And the nitrous is leaking, of course it is. That's why you the last of it, cross the line. We part the corners so quick that as long as we don't bollocks up the corner itself, we don't have too much to worry about. Good news, everyone, by the way. For those of you with a keen eye, you may notice that this video is not 30 frames a second. Well, it will be because YouTube pretty much allows nothing other than that. But, um, yeah, the, the game doesn't look like it would if you were playing it yourself on your PC at 30 frames a second or more. That is because it's not. It's so, like, oh shit. Fucking curves are really screwing me up here. That's because it's actually running at about 28 frames a second. It doesn't seem like much, but it really is enough to make an actual difference. And when I'm racing outside of recording, it's a massive shock to me when <laughs> I start recording and everything feels quicker which is the exact opposite of what you'd expect from a drop in frame rates. It usually feels slower. Nothing's going as quick, nothing's as smooth, but that's exactly it. It's not as smooth. It creates a blurring effect, in this game at least, which uh, somewhat increases the feeling of speed. That may have been a bit harsh there. But, yes, that will no longer be the case. After this episode, it shall all be... But I remain frames per second I get from my new PC. Which, at the time of recording this episode, will be tomorrow. The time of this, video, this episode's released will have been three days ago. Man, recording YouTube videos is a major mind fuck for the sense of time. And after this race, I am so much raising the suspension on this one. There we go. Nice straight. I don't think we're going to make up the lost 70 rep through collisions, but... It doesn't matter. It's only going to take like three years of juice for me to ever get the goal of 1500 rep each. You know what? The more I think about it, the more I think that may be an unattainable goal. If I was al get away. If I was allowed to uh, to use the controller with this game, I feel I may stand a better chance. But unfortunately. I can't use the control. It won't let me edit the keys, bind the keys, bind the buttons, damn it. Um, which is a problem. Yeah, I can live for it. It's just if I'm never going to be able to get 1500 rep, because if we're going to be all over the shop with the racing, then I guess we may need to think of an, up another goal. I mean, I might just go for the goal of uh, having four Vipers in my garage and doing a few races with that and saying, hey, yeah, okay, we've done that. Let's, let's call it a day. Let's move on to Juice 2, which I can safely say will be happening after this, for sure. It'll definitely be Juice 2. Complete with controller support. Yes. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Really is going to be glorious. With the arrival of my PC, I have quite a few games lined up 
for some point in the future. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, I'm not going to point out what they are, because that uh, usually jinxes things for us. If we say we're going to do something, it won't happen. Those of you that are interested in what the computer, what my computer is, when I get my new one, and uh, what specs it has. Now that was wholly unnecessary. Uh, myself and Rog will be doing a sort of uh, rig showdown, so to speak. We're going to be, uh, well, we'll show off our rigs. Off every fucking wall in this race. <laughs> uh, so we'll be showing off our rigs, um, lining up the specs side by side, and we're doing various different benchmark tests. And the winner will be decided through some sort of point system that we're yet to fully agree on. Now, for, I know for a fact that he is going to cream me. There's one test that I, f I feel I may actually beat him on, but he has a better graphic card than I will, and he has a better processor. I will have. But we're going to make it a twice yearly thing because obviously we're both very much into upgrading our computers and buying new parts and things could very much change in six months from now. So we're going to make it a twice yearly thing. Oh my god, minus 220 rem. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make it a twice yearly thing and it'll uh, be a nice little thing for you guys to see because you know, occasionally people get asked what rig you're running, and rather than explaining everything, it's nice to direct them to a video that explains it all. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is awful. Oh well. Okay, guys, that's, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching, and remember, the next episode will be running at full 30 or more frames per second, and... Probably more AA, not that you can really notice it in a video. No, you can't really notice more than two times AA, but I'll probably be knocking it all the way up to 12. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and see you later.